it's really great when you can tell somebody you're working on a robot and it's like the look on their face is just priceless, you know. It's like, yeah, I'm working on a robot. Oh, uh, what? Okay. A robot? A lot of people wouldn't expect building a robot to be fun, but it really is. This is so fun, thinking of strategies and stuff, and stuff that you can do to make the robot better. And it's just as competitive as any sports game, but you're actually using your mind in this more so than in other places. They shoved a power tool in my hand and told me to cut some metal, and after I did it, I felt like I was on top of the world. I was like, wow, I can really do this, and it just broke all the stereotypes I had about engineering. We started first because we believe that if you give kids an opportunity to see that science and technology and inventing and problem solving really is every bit as much fun and every bit as exciting as any other sport they get involved with, we'll get more kids, particularly women and minorities, to think about careers in science and technology. In order for us to be able to have the kind of workforce that develops the creative products that we do, we need the best and brightest minds that end up being trained starting with things like this. First is a microcosm of a real engineering experience because it's a problem too big, in a time too short, with a budget too small, and in fact a team too large. This is producing people who really know how to complete jobs. They know how to work in a team. Basically, the first competition gives the, the students an opportunity to design and build a robot. Six weeks ago, they received a box of parts and the same box of parts that every other team received. So they, they had to design their robot, build their robot, and play this game. They basically have balls that they have to pick up. They can shoot them into side goals. They can shoot them into a center goal, or they can play defense, or a combination of the above. We've grown now to have 40,000 volunteers, 100,000 students engaged in FIRST programs that really want to go and build new technologies and make a better world for us. They're charged up about this. They've got cheering sections out here. There's cheerleaders. They've got chants. Uh, they're as juiced up about this as the state finals in basketball. It's a place where there's nurturing coaches as opposed to judgmental teachers, where there's teamwork is considered a good thing, whereas in a classroom, teamwork is considered cheating. And while they're ferociously competing on the field, if you go off into the pits, they're helping each other repair their poor robots that got bruised. If your machine doesn't work, we all still love you. And that's a great way to learn about being creative without risking your entire career or reputation. We are also neurotic about safety for two reasons. One is, we don't want anybody to get hurt, and there's some pretty high-performance machines out there. Another is, in the real world, one of the skill sets they have to develop is the ability to look at a situation and anticipate what could go wrong here. Staying up to 2 o'clock in the morning, trying to get the robot done. It gives me a sense of confidence, basically. Confidence that if, you know, if I want to do it, I can. The U.S.'s success as a country is very much dependent upon good engineers, innovative engineers. And it's a national imperative that we invest in our young people and show them the opportunities uh, available to them in science and engineering. We continue to have fabulous employees that come out of the FIRST program and fabulous employees that mentor and just get inspired and fall in love with engineering all over again. They get all the benefits and all the trappings and all the excitement of sports, but the skill sets they learn here are way more likely to help them in careers than the kinds of skill sets they develop for other sports. I personally get more satisfaction out of FIRST than any human deserves for anything. It's really amazing. When you work with the kids and you see them grow and they see you helping that, amazing stuff happens.